Hey everyone, so today we're going to be going over your third method of your acceptability problems. So when you use this third method, it's used when the menu item prepared runs out and is substituted with a different food item. So this third method has two different parts to it. So the first part you have your portions prepared you divide that by your first head count so head count number one and then the second part to it is your portions prepared minus your leftovers and then this one you're going to divide it by your second head count. So head count two minus head count one. So this one's going to be your first product. This one's going to be your second product. So this question, it says CSC Green prepared 586 portions of Texas tortilla soup. So that is going to be your first product. So your portions prepared was 586. At 12.15, he ran out of Texas tortilla soup and 523 personnel had gone through the line. So that 523 is going to be your first head count. 5, 2, 3. So he prepared 25 portions of chicken noodle soup. So that's your second product. So it's going to be on this formula. So you got 25 portions of chicken noodle soup. There were four portions left over. So minus 4. Divided by your, it says portion left over and 620 personnel had gone through the line. So that would be your second head count. So it'd be 620 minus your first head count, which is 523. So... What is acceptability for both soups? So I have to do the both acceptabilities for both products. So the first one I gotta do is 586 divided by 523. So 586 divided by 523, which is 1.1204. So again, we only need it to the hundredths place. 1.12. So the hundredths place is only these two numbers. So again, acceptability is always a percentage. So after that, we multiply this by 100, which equals... one hundred and twelve percent so that's acceptability for the texas tortilla soup now we're going to move on to this second one so 25 minus 4 that's 21 so 21 and then we have to Subtract T2, so 620 minus 523, which equals 97. So 21 divided by 97 equals 0.216. So again, we only need the numbers to the hundreds place. So if this third number is 4 or below, this number is going to stay the same. But since it's above five, 5 or above, you have to round up. So this is going to end up equaling 0.22. 2. 
So again, acceptability is always a percentage. So we're going to multiply this by 100, which equals 22%. So you're going to have two different answers for this problem.